a bunch of losers that never know how to get a job. I don't I care about them. If we don't stop these horrible communists, do you hear me? I'm asking you to hear me. Stalinist! Communists! With a huge helping of Nazi fascists thrown in! Plus, wanting a caliphate! to replace every Christian democracy on earth now occupy. Do you know that? I'm Ravana and welcome back to Rebel HQ. What the was that? I've been covering right-wing nonsense for years now, and even I couldn't decipher what on earth she was mumbling about. What is clear to me is that the drinks were flowing, among other things, backstage at this Turning Point USA event. Even the audience wasn't following along with what comedian Roseanne Barr is stuttering through on stage, indicated by their silence when she pauses for what I assume she believes should be Roaring applause. Occupy, do you know that? Apparently, they did not. I did really like at the beginning of the clip how Roseanne kind of insults herself. A bunch of losers that never know how to get a job. I don't I care about them. A bunch of losers who don't know how to get a job is what she mumbled. Which, my question to her would be, Roseanne, when was the last time you had gainful employment? Your entire shtick for the past decade or so has just been say outrageous, bigoted, reactionary things to try to maintain some semblance of relevance in modern society. And then doing a few gigs before Trump rallies here and there, and playing the hits at Turning Point USA's rally. But of course, making those horrendously bigoted right-wing statements keeps her in right-wing media, taking pictures with people like Marjorie Taylor Greene. But let's face it, Trump's base doesn't care if their right-wing celebrities, spokespeople, or politicians make a lick of sense, nor do they care how inebriated they are while delivering speeches. For example, this one. Ladies and gentlemen, leaders and fighters for freedom and liberty and the American dream, the best is yet to come. That was Don Jr.'s wife and Fox News contributor Kimberly Guilfoyle at the RNC a few years back. And based on that video, I can only imagine that the C in RNC stands for cocaine. Don Jr. apparently willing to share his stash with his wife. How very sweet of him. And it really shouldn't come as a surprise to us that this is what Trump supporters are willing to accept, considering who their god and cult leader is. You know, we just said another stock rocket. You, you saw that, right? The stock market. Technology companies are um, really big beneficiaries. The wall is under construction. A lot of work has been done. A lot of renovation. Made a pivotal, really, and I mean, this was pivotal. Obama amnesty. Amnesty, Obama amnesty. And ICE officers removed 10,000 known or suspected gang members. Police officers, and you saw that, all of those incredible police officers. I am today starting the process of terminating the diversity lottery program. If we are going to succeed in stopping this scourge, decided to shield and shelter criminal look look wait their whole state to be a sanctuary for criminal illegal immigrants sanctuary city everybody reminder that that guy was the president of the united states for four years and that we absolutely cannot let that ever happen again and it is imperative that we prevent trump from ever becoming the president again because his supporters are gonna be going to the polls in large numbers to support him. It doesn't matter what he does, they will be there no matter what. Don't believe me? 
Just listen to what this Trump supporter had to say when he was asked if there was anything Trump could do to lose his support. The courts in several different states are finding different things about Trump. Is there anything that could happen with him indictment-wise that would say, all right, maybe this disqualifies him for president? Not for me. I'm with him to the finish. All right, thank he you so much. Could, he could stand on the front steps of the White House and, and commit murder, and I'm with him. <laughs> Explain that to me. That's amazing. I mean, as, look, uh, He's the only man we've ever had in my lifetime that stood for America as president. Now, I was a George Herbert Walker Bush man and all that, but they don't anybody compare to Donald Trump. He loves this country, and that's why I love him. Donald Trump could kill someone on the steps of the White House, and this guy would still vote for him. And you're kidding yourselves if you think that is the only person who holds that belief. He wasn't even the only person at that rally that said that. And it's up to you and me to ensure that that cult doesn't decide who our next president is.